everyone and welcome back to another great episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. We made um, one, on one of my videos, we made this bouquet here. And we want to make another one with um, a jar. So I kind of wanted to give you an idea of one that uses a jar and one, or a vase, and one that does not use a vase. So this one here is going to use a vase. But um, I will have the camera person show you this one um, after a little while. But um, for this project here, what we're going to need is, of course, we're going to need some candy bars. Now, um, I my local grocery store had uh, some really good deals on the um, king size candy bars. So we picked up the uh, king size candy bars. And then I also picked up this from the dollar store. So I've got a base from the dollar store. Um, I'm gonna need a glue gun here, and the reason why is I kind of wanted to stick a, uh, one of the ribbon onto the um, vase just to make it look pretty. And then um, I also picked up some bows. I got two for a dollar, so I used one. I'm gonna use this one, one for this one, and I used the other one for my other bouquet. Um, and then we have. I bought some skewers here that we use for a, on the barbecue grill and what Sumaya did was she went ahead and she colored all of them um, with different colors so they actually look really really nice and what we then went ahead and did was we went ahead and you're also going to need a mailer's tape I'm going to show you one we're going to take a butterfinger and we'll take the purple uh, stick over here and what you want to do is you want to take the blunt end and you want to tape that down. Now you won't believe how many times I did it this way. And guess what I had to do? I had to open them all again because you have to have the pointed tip down here so it's going to go into the jar. So I'm going to show you this one and then I also want to show you what we're going to use to fill up our, our vase. So mailer, mailer tapes work, works really, really well because um, it's just so much more sturdier than using a hot glue gun or just a regular tape. It just, you know, you just want to make sure because you're going to, if you're going to be transporting this to either a hospital or whatever, um, you want it to be pretty sturdy and not fall off the stick. So this, you know, worked out really well for us. You could also do the mini ones. And I haven't put, I just, I put, put it this way on there. I put a double one and I did it this way. But I'm kind of thinking what I want to do is when I get to the bottom of the vase, I kind of want to have them, you know, more on the bottom side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, be using these skewers and I'm going to be cutting them. So there are shorter skewers and then taping them. And I'll show you. Um, you're also going to need a foam ball. ball. Um, I got this and I, I, um, you know measured it really well you know so it measures really well I don't want to stick it in there but I'm also going to be adding these um, jelly beans in there and I got this whole container for four dollars this is the reason why I'm using the jelly beans and um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pour these in there and, and I'm kind of guesstimating that this is what the height I want because then the ball is going to go. Now, you don't want to take this ball and put it straight up on the bean, on the jelly beans because we don't know, you know, if this ball has any chemicals or any foam, this foam has any chemicals or anything in there. So we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to cover it. And so I... Um, what did I do with my other scissors? I don't like using these. Okay, it's okay. All right, so we're just gonna cut a small piece and we'll cover it. I'm cutting a little bit of a bigger piece because that's okay even if it goes around twice, that's okay. Thank you, Samaya. And then we're just gonna do this and we're gonna cover it really well. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna need that piece, you know, just like so you know and then we're gonna put it inside the vase just like so see so <clears throat> once they start 
you know, getting the candies and they want to get into this, this is going to be very easy to pop out. See how easy it is to pop out. So, all right. I also forgot to mention that I have a couple different uh, pieces of tissue paper here. And what I want to do with this tissue paper is I kind of want to incorporate this into um, putting it somehow where... Um, And I might not use all of them because I think they're going to be they'll be too bulky. So I'm going to leave this one out since we already have some really beautiful colors in there. And what I'm going to do with this one is I'm just going to go ahead and cut this piece out just like so. Um, I don't think so. Okay, so let's put that on the side. Okay. All right. So let's do it. You know. Something like, like so. So you just wanna, you know. And what we'll do is, once the candies come along, we're just, we'll just pinch it and and yeah. I don't, I don't know if I wanna glue it, but you know, it's gonna work. So see, I just pinched one end of it, and then what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take a big candy bar, and you wanna start off with doing a big candy bar on the back because okay there we go all right see and then you want to work with it coming towards you know it kind of leveling off on it and that's my clock and I've mentioned that in a couple of my um, videos now that that was a gift to myself it rings every hour and so I, I really really enjoy it although my family doesn't but I really really enjoy it so um, we're going to take, I'm going to clip it. I'm going to kind of clip again, just like so. And then I'm going to take another one and I'm just going to put it in there. Just, just when I get, after I get my tissue paper all done, then we'll start setting this. And you can even have it go a little bit on the sides, just like that. So see how I'm working it right there where I'm just kind of, I just kind of clipped it, just pinched it just a couple of times. So... You don't need to use glue or anything like that. So let's go ahead and just pinch this little bit in there and then work our way down. Okay. All right. So, and so if you see, did you see how we just got this to look really, really nice? Just, you know, just by clipping it. And then we're gonna take, maybe, let's do a big, let's do a Snickers bar. King size Snickers bar. Like that. Now, in my other video, we double skewered one of them. And that was because I wanted it to stick really on top of the bouquet. So what we did with that one is we just, so, just gonna take the tape. You don't have to have a very big piece, and I think I have a big piece here, but that's okay. Good. When they see this tape is sturdy, it's really sturdy. Okay. Put that over here. And then, so, you know, what I'm just trying to do here is I'm, I really want to give you an idea that you can do so many different things with this, you know. So just by doing like a double skewer, we're going to go ahead and put this a little bit higher here and put it in the back like so and the, you know what really makes it look really nice is because it's such a tall vase and then see how she did this one where she's taped it quite high so we don't have much room but what we could do is we could just have this more on the bottom side just like that okay let me just get this in okay there we go all right so now 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 what I want to do is not too happy with the way this looks. So we're going to take it out and we're going to redo it. Yeah. Better. Okay. So now I don't like this gap here. So we're going to add another starburst. And, okay. So see how it's a little bit more. 
and then I have a nerd air airhead. I'm sorry. We're gonna put that in here. All right. And you know, if you feel like you want to move some things out, it's really nice because you can just take it out and just kind of move it out. So there we go. See? And then, since I have this on there, we'll use it anyways. Um, but I think I'm going to put the Hershey's a little bit in the back and move the Twix in the front and just kind of work with it. Or, I think I'm going to take the Twix out. I'm going to put it more over here because there's a gap. So the nice thing about this is you can really play around with it and um, come up with the best of your creations. Okay, now I have to tell you the reason why this one was really hard to get in was because we had clipped, you know, the, the tissue paper so I had a whole lot more. Um, but way down here okay so now I want to show you one more thing that we can do what we can do is we can just cut this like so take some mailers tape so I can you get me a crunch from in there or maybe a few musketeers okay. so because I want to have a little bit of the bottom Okay, so see how I'm just gonna put this more on the bottom right there. Okay, um, how about a blue one? So we're gonna cut one more, and this one I don't have it colored, but hey, it's okay, no big deal. Take this out. That's okay, I don't really need it colored. So, you know, as you go, it's really easy to just even, you don't even have to prepare it, but just because it's for video, I really didn't want to take too much time or make this video extra, extra long. But, see? So, you could basically go and continue making or putting, you know, more of the little candy bars in, but, I, you know, I think this, this looks really, really good. So, I think we're going to, so we've got our pieces in right here and what I did with the bow is I just measured it just like that you know and I'm gonna let it overlap and I kind of want it to have it on the bottom because I really like the pink and the green so I'm just gonna put a couple dabs of the hot glue gun just like that you don't need much and I need some on the sides so it's gonna stick well okay and we go we got the ribbon glued on really well just like that and then I want to make use of this bow I think it's such a cute and fun bow so I want that to go kind of kind of on top like that All right, so we are all done. And if, if the candies kind of turn around, you just, just turn them back. But I think they should be okay. All right, so that's it. We're all done. We've got jelly beans on the bottom. We've got all sorts of candy bars on top. And if we're looking at the price of this, let me look at how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine 9.50 this project costed me about twelve dollars including the vase so um and i know that my local grocery store sells this for about 19.99 or 20 bucks so i saved 50 percent and i had a lot of fun making it and it was really personable because 
it was really fun making something for somebody that you kind of put your own um, um, ideas and um, effort into. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Making Something Creative. Um, I also want you guys to check out my special on the 6,000 subscriber video that I made this bouquet on. Um, and so if you haven't seen this video, please go ahead, check it out. This was, um, I made this video when I hit my 6,000 subscribers. And so I just wanted to make something similar, but yet one that you have a choice that to do with the vase and without the vase. So I hope you guys had an amazing time with me because I really did have an amazing time making this piece. So thank you for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines. Hope I can see you here next time with another great video. See you then. Friends.